out. It's a lot of fun. Bye, everybody. Bye. What does high strength roll form steel look like? Like this. Chevy Silverado. High strength steel for high strength dependability. Current Chevy owners can get a total value of $7,850 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus one year of Sirius XM with every MLB game. See your Rio Grande Valley Chevy dealers. From the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. More signs of violence across the border. Mexican police say they found the bodies of three women and a man inside five plastic coolers. The van was abandoned in a movie theater parking lot just across from Brownsville in Matamoros. Mexican authorities discovered nearly a dozen people either beheaded or mutilated within the last two months. Another man was also found beheaded. Mexican media outlets report police were tipped off about the bodies after social networks posted photographs of the human remains. A a travel warning was just issued for Mexico. It replaces the one that was last alerted back in December. At Tamaulipas, Matamoros, and Reynosa, all on that list, the U.S. State Department says the safety and security of travelers are at risk. Channel 5's Michael Scott is in the newsroom with the details. Michael? Well, Oscar, violent crimes against travelers are happening right across from us, the Department of State says. These crimes include kidnappings, carjackings, and virtual kidnappings. The Department of State says the uptick in kidnappings in Tamaulipas is a concern for them. The state has the highest number of kidnappings. The agency is warning travelers about roadblocks and hijackings of passenger buses as well as cars. A report says this activity is happening along the highways in the state. Now, we spoke to travelers at the McAllen bus station this afternoon about this warning. They tell me they understand the risk when traveling to Mexico, but the warning won't stop them. Everything is safe. There's a lot of uh, police in the road. There's a, uh, it's pretty safe, pretty safe. Now the Department of State says anyone traveling to Mexico should follow these tips. Travel in daylight, you are more vulnerable at night, and avoid isolated roads and use toll roads. Now we're going to put this whole warning on our website for you to view. You can find it on krgv.com. We'll have that up right after the newscast. We're live in the newsroom, Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 5. Yeah, even further south uh, fr from the border, violence uh, not slowing down there either. Just last month, a Texas oil company crew was attacked by armed men. It happened in the state of Tabasco in a town called Villa Hermosa. Analysts monitoring the violence in Mexico say two tanker trucks from Houston were set on fire. Stratfor says it may be because the company refused to pay extortion fees. The intelligence experts expect to see more bribery attempts and threats tied to fuel theft. Back on March 8th, a convoy carrying the mayor of Matamoros was also targeted. And in February, 20 gunmen were killed in several gun battles reported in Matamoros, Rio Bravo, and Reynosa. An explosive device was also found outside the Matamoro City Hall and an editor where the Mexican newspaper in the city was kidnapped and later released unharmed. U.S. Representative Joaquin Castro is turning to the feds for information about Operation Strong Safety. Now that is a Texas DPS operation, but Castro says state troopers are staying quiet about it. This is according to our media partners at the Texas Tribune. Castro wants data from U.S. Customs and Border Protection, which would show how many apprehensions and drug busts federal agents actually made. Operation Strong Safety began last June as a statewide response to the surge of illegal immigrants. A DPS director, Steve McCraw, told the Tribune more than 77,000 apprehensions had been made as part of Operation Strong Safety from June of 2014 to February of this year. Over 421,000 pounds of weed, 811 pounds of cocaine, 700 93 pounds of methamphetamine, and just over 33 pounds of heroin have also been seized.
The sheriff's investigators still not releasing the names of victims in an overnight shooting near Donna. It happened around midnight on Mays Street. That's south of the city and east of Alverde. Kirk Chason was there as investigators processed the scene for evidence. He's back in our newsroom with more info. Yeah, investigators found one man dead at the scene. Another died later at a local hospital. The third man was in surgery at a hospital this morning. We still have no word on his condition. Investigators say they're working to identify the victims. They say they're searching for a motive in the case. They also spent several hours processing the area for evidence. The property's a significant size, maybe half an acre to an acre. So uh, there's numerous pieces of evidence to be collected. Neighbors told me they had seen a lot of traffic on the street, people coming and going from the trailer where the shooting happened. We don't know if this was some kind of shootout among the victims or if someone else showed up and opened fire on them. Investigators would not say whether they found any drugs at the scene. If you have any information about this case, you can call the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office at the number you see there on your screen, 956-383-8114. Live in the newsroom, Kirk Chase on Channel 5 News at 5. All new at 5, a Harlingen man faces charges after he was arrested for speeding from police while his children were in the back seat of the car. Ramon Cortez was pulled over for not wearing a seat belt, and during that traffic stop, he took off and then crashed in the front yard of a business. The children are expected to be okay. In addition to charges of endangering a child, Cortez had outstanding warrants and a parole violation. His bonds total more than $45,000. Radar has gone quiet across the valley today. Nothing overhead, nothing to the south, nothing to the north. Just off to the east in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's moving away. And with nothing developing this afternoon or this evening, looks like a pretty quiet night across the valley for a change. Tomorrow, though, the chance is there again. Friday, an even better chance. In the meantime, temperatures across the area right now, upper 70s, 76 to 79. Winds out of the east about 7. We'll take a close look at that rain chance and update your first one five forecast coming up in just a little while. A Palmview apartment building is getting a new roof after it was struck by lightning Sunday. And a family who lived in one of the units of that apartment complex still trying to get by. Channel 5's Leslie Aguilar spoke with them today. So Leslie, when, those, when the, will the repairs be done and uh, what are some of the problems that the family is facing? Oscar Melissa, right now repairs to the actual apartment building are underway. The cost is covered by the landlord's insurance. The family who lived in the unit struck by lightning will have to replace everything they lost out of their own pocket. What caused the gaping hole in Unit 6 was unavoidable. Oh, my grandma thought it was like someone shooting. Lightning struck the roof right above where Joe Cazadas' newborn son sleeps. I was like in shock. You know, I was... I first thing I was asking for my baby, the first thing, that's the first thing I went, it's like, how's my baby? All four of the Cazadas children in the apartment made it out okay. The Red Cross is paying for the family to stay in a hotel for now. Cazada says his landlord showed up shortly after first responders Sunday night and started planning repairs to the roof. He says the landlord told his family to move everything out of the apartment. When we started moving the stuff and moving everything around, Chirac, we would move the bed, tree rock started falling. Um, then electrical wire was hanging. We were like, this cannot be safe. I know we even told her this is not safe. She's like, well, you have to move it, it's your stuff. Cazada says he moved as much stuff as possible but didn't have anywhere to put everything. He says most of the family's belongings were ruined by ash and water. Much of what was salvageable ended up thrown out by construction crews, including his sick infant's breathing machine. It was in bits and pieces, and it was like they dropped it on the second floor. Insurance is repairing the apartment. El building. Nada más el, el edificio es el que está asegurado. Landlord Rosalinda Suarez says she can't do anything about property lost inside the units. Insurance agent Aziz Shawri says most renters in the valley are not covered. Whether it's caused by fire, water, theft, uh, smoke damage, any kind of uh, 
problem or, uh, that they would incur would be covered under the renter's policy. A renter's policy would pay not only for lost property, but also another apartment. For $15 to $20 a month, it's well worth it. Peace of mind is, there's no price on peace of mind. This family is trying to move forward. First step is finding a new place to live. Second, we're never going to go through this again. Is making sure they're covered if disaster strikes again. And only two apartments in that building sustained damage. Neither family had renter's insurance. The rest of the complex is still displaced because the electricity has yet to be restored to the building. Live in the studio, Leslie Aguilar, Channel 5 News at 5. A note to Leslie's report, renter's insurance covers any property you own, from furniture to electronics, clothing and jewelry. A renter's policy would also cover living expenses and rent that you would need to pay if you move. It also covers liability if someone were to sue you for getting hurt on that rental property. The average cost of coverage, 15 bucks a month for $10,000 worth of personal property and $100,000 of liability. Wasico PD about to roll out their new rides where the department is getting the cash to put officers back on the beat on bikes in less than two minutes. Tick tock, tick tock. Today is the tax deadline. At least one Valley Post Office is working to buy you some more time. A closer look at the spot in less than two minutes. Breaking news, breaking stories. This is Channel 5 News with Oscar Adame. Melissa Correa, and First Warn 5 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. This is Channel 5 News at 5. Now save twice the tax, twice the tax at Lax. Lax gives you an extra discount equal to two times the sales tax on all furniture, bedding, and accessories. Plus, no interest until 2018. Save twice the tax at Lax. Homemade dinner is great, except for the homemade mess. Subway restaurants make dinner easy again with the Dinner Time Deal. That's any two or more foot-long subs for just $5 each every day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. Subway, eat fresh. The weather's heating up, and Bogus has deals that are even hotter. Real deals, no tricks, no gimmicks. Come out and see for yourself. We want you to put our real deals to the test. Right now, save a whopping $14,000 on a 2014 Ford F-150 or lease a 2015 Ford Escape for only $189 a month. Real deals. It's better at Bogus. In Harlingen, in McAllen, and always at BogusFord.com. Ford is taking the EcoBoost Challenge all across America. Ford has really stepped up. Check out Fusion and find out why Ford is the brand more people buy and buy again. And I like the grill and the sexy look to it. EPA estimated 37 miles per gallon on the highway. Are you serious? Fusion is amazing. My opinion of Ford has dramatically changed. Take the EcoBoost Challenge and get a Fusion with 0 for 60 plus 1,000 Ford credit bonus cash or up to 3,500 cash back. Visit your best in Texas Ford dealer today. Now save twice the tax, twice the tax at Lax. Lax gives you an extra discount equal to two times the sales tax on all furniture, bedding, and accessories. Plus, no interest until 2018. Save twice the tax at Lax. The bikes are coming back. Wesleco police are about to purchase a pair of motorcycles. The buy comes just after months when a former interim police chief sold off Wesleco PD's motorcycle unit. Police will use asset forfeiture funds to make the buy. Commissioners are set to approve the bid or actual purchase next Tuesday. A police spokesman says the goal is to have the motorcycles back out on patrol within the next few weeks. Right now, regular patrol officers are picking up the workload that once went to Wesleco bike traffic enforcement. A Raymondville man will spend the next decade of his life in prison. 20-year-old Esteban Yanis was sentenced today for aggravated sex assault. The crime happened five years ago. Police say the mother of the 12-year-old victim found her daughter and Yanis at a Willacy County hotel. The 12-year-old reportedly told police she had been drugged. Well, the tax deadline is here. As far as we know, after making some calls, the main post office in McAllen, located at Pecan and McCall, is the only post office in the Valley that has extended their hours tonight to postmark tax returns with today's date. We're told they'll have workers outside collecting and postmarking your return until 8 p.m. 
but inside workers will accept and postmark returns until midnight. They'll be collecting the tax returns at the call window. As of January 1st of last year, the Affordable Care Act requires that most Americans buy health care insurance or face a tax penalty. Those who purchase health insurance coverage through the state-based and federally facilitated exchanges that make up the health insurance marketplace may be eligible for tax credits that will help lower monthly premiums. If you do not have health insurance this year, this is a tax you'll face. 2% of your household income that is above the tax return threshold for your filing status or your family's flat dollar amount, which is $325 per adult, $162.50 per child under the age of 18. Police gave it the all clear. Nothing dangerous found on a small single person helicopter that landed at the U.S. Capitol today. The breach, though, caused a major lockdown. Witnesses say the aircraft made a low approach before it actually landed. One person said when the aircraft landed, police with rifles yelled at the pilot not to move, and they told bystanders to run with their heads down. The pilot was immediately arrested, though we still don't know his name. A friend of the pilot wanted to send a message to Congress on campaign finance reform. But his original plan was to deliver letters to every member of Congress complaining about the campaign finance and the fact that it needs to be changed. We've gotten pretty much nowhere in several years and he felt that something needed to be done to make an outstanding statement. Yeah, that pilot is now facing charges. U.S. Postal Service might have helped there. Uh, this incident isn't the only security breach in D.C. this year. This past Saturday, the Capitol grounds went on lockdown after a man shot and killed himself just a couple of blocks away. In January, you might remember, a radio control quadcopter crashed on the White House property. A government employee later admitted to owning the drone. The president and first lady were overseas at the time. Former New England Patriots player Aaron Hernandez was found guilty of murder today. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Hernandez convicted of killing semi-professional football player Odin Lloyd in 2013. Hernandez was also found guilty of unlawful possession of a firearm and also unlawful possession of ammunition. He will not be eligible for parole. You know, Oscar, here's a timeline of Aaron Hernandez and his role in Lloyd's murder. Hernandez signed with the Patriots back in August of 2012. Lloyd's body was discovered about a mile from Hernandez's mansion in June of 2013. Hernandez was arrested nine days later. The Patriots released him just hours after that, and he was later, he later pled, though, not guilty. Well, back in January of this year, Hernandez went on trial for Lloyd's murder, and he was sentenced to life in prison today. Tim? Across the valley today, rain free for the most part just north of us some rain tonight should be quiet as well but the chance of rain is not gone when we come back your forecast for falcon village jet couch rangerville and the rest of the valley next Burt Ogden Cadillac is a trusted name in luxury vehicles where you get the service, selection, and savings you deserve. Drive a 2015 Cadillac SRX, just $339 per month. Plus, we have over 20 brand new 2015 Escalades on the way. Reserve yours today. Come discover a new standard of luxury ownership at Burt Ogden Cadillac, Ryan Road and Expressway 83 in Mission. A Night at the Races will be Tuesday, May 5th at 6 p.m. at the McAllen Country Club. Enjoy dinner, horse races, mint juleps, and live and silent auctions to benefit Camp University's special needs kids. For tickets, call Real Bank at 631-7890. Mott's, it's like, it's like coming home. It's, a lot of people come here and they're like, I love the way this place feels. You could walk in here and you could talk to anybody, and that's, we want that, that feel. It's like coming, come, coming home. You can go back to your mom's house, go back to your grandma's house, and that's, that's the feel we want. It's like, it's a family. When you come here, you're gonna be treated like family, and we're gonna show customers. You're not getting to know our business, but you're also getting to know our family. Honda's the only company ever to win both the Indy 500 and a Supercross Racing Championship. They were also the first to come up with this. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event! Where you can get great deals on almost everything Honda makes, including the sporty Civic, named best value in its class. Get great deals on Civics right now! The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event. Get a dream deal on a Civic with standard rear-view camera. Now, at your Honda dealer. 
Gilman got rule number 167. At Gilman, we just don't sell you a vehicle. We sell you a conversation starter. Where are you going, Maria? We can only do so much. During the Honda Dream Garage Sales Event, buy a 2015 Honda Civic for 0% APR at Gilman Honda in San Benito. Gilman, big enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Gilman got rule number 167. Gilman gives you something Maria, to talk Maria, about. Maria, more. Gilman, it's the way to go. And now, First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Hey folks, the day started with at least a little bit of sunshine. This in Progreso at 7.33 a.m. from Yesenia Hernandez Morales. And that's about all the sun we got to see because the clouds took over as the sun went up and disappeared behind them. And we haven't seen much sunshine since. Thanks to Yesenia for that photograph. Now, radar pretty quiet across the valley. Out in the Gulf, we've seen showers much of the day, but they're staying out there. They're moving away. We had a thin line go across the northern part of the valley uh, late morning, but that's about it. Oh, there it is. Otherwise, Otherwise, it's been a very quiet day across the region. Not enough heating. The clouds keeping temperatures down, so not enough heating to really get things going to destabilize the atmosphere. Not much going on to the west either tonight, so it looks like most of tonight should stay quiet, and tomorrow should start on a quiet note. The question is what happens after that, and the potential for hours and thunder showers is still with us. Most of Texas quiet, but take a look off to the west and the northwest. You start to see just kind of a scattering of showers, kind of a sign of things to come. Here's what's going on on future track. See a front moving into west Texas by tomorrow, but notice how the rain breaks out to the north of us again. I think our chance of rain tomorrow stands at about 30%. Most of it misses us. Most of the rain stays to the north, but a slight possibility here. Friday, I think our chance of rain goes up probably to about 60% as an upper air disturbance drops into west Texas. Rain develops out ahead of it, and I think we're in the middle of that. Slight possibility of severe weather. Friday night into early Saturday. You see the rain here, stronger stuff to the north of us again. And then on Saturday, another little weak front develops near us, enough to help trigger a couple of more isolated showers. Sunday, I think the clouds are still around. I think an isolated shower can't be ruled out, but the chance does diminish. We talked yesterday about how Sunday could be a dry day. Probably not completely. I think there's at least a shot at some rain. Storm Prediction Center predicts where there's the potential for severe weather, and this is their forecast for tomorrow, and we're in the marginal risk zone. That means there's a 5% chance of a severe thunderstorm within 25 miles of any location within that area. Notice you get north, it goes up to 15, farther north up to 30, and again, that's the chance for severe thunderstorms with damaging winds, hail, even tornadoes. Look what happens, though. We get to Friday, and it's gone away. Just updated, but the slight risk comes all the way down to us. 15% for us on Friday. This is the chance of rain. Those were the chances of severe weather. 5%. 15%. So the potential is there. We just have to keep an eye out for it. Quick check of future track shows what's going on tomorrow. Scattered showers, not much, but I want to go all the way to Friday to show you what may happen on Friday. We're watching Thursday, scattered stuff. Friday starts quiet, but by the end of the day, Friday, wait for it. Here it comes. You see the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms. It shows up Friday late in the day. Okay, so let's take a look. Computer's not going to let us. Our forecast for tonight calls for partly cloudy skies. Stray shower, lows near 70. Tomorrow, there we go. Now there's Friday finally. And then tomorrow, back up into the 80s once again. That's your updated First One Five forecast. <laughs> Is that her? No, Valerie said she's driving a Buick. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Buick. Buick, Buick. Take a fresh look at Buick. It just might surprise you. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. That's not a Buick. That's what I told him. Wow. This is nice. Now get a sign and drive lease on this 2015 Buick Encore for around $161 per month on vehicles in stock the longest. See your Valley Buick dealer. There's a revolution coming at the United Dealerships of Bird Ogden. Join the truck nation today at Bird Ogden Chevrolet, Bird Ogden Ram, Bird Ogden GMC, Bird Ogden Toyota, Bird Ogden Nissan, and Fiesta Chevrolet. When you think trucks, think Bird Ogden. We are the truck nation. Darling us. Sinus problems and sinus symptoms often go misdiagnosed. I thought I had migraines. They told me I had gastric reflux. I thought I had insomnia. I just couldn't breathe. 
not just pain. What they had was sinusitis, and there is a cure. It's balloon sinoplasty surgery. No more headaches. I can breathe again. I can really sleep. It really works. I recommend South Texas Sinus Institute. South Texas Sinus Institute. Get your life back. There's little banks, big banks, and then there's Lone Star National Bank. Unlike the little banks, we were strong enough to expand when times were tough. And unlike the big banks, we weren't asking for a bailout. That's because we're strong, safe, and secure. We remember our roots and give back to our community. Let's keep growing stronger together because we do everything the little banks can't and the big banks won't. Lone Star National Bank, the Valley's Bank. Nissan Sentra with Nissan Connect. Man, this doesn't look like Vegas. It's easy to lose yourself, but nearly impossible to get lost. Get 0% for up to 72 months or save up to $12.50. Centra, from the most fuel-efficient lineup in America. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. A Senate Foreign Relations Committee unanimously approved legislation that would allow lawmakers to review the Iran nuclear deal. The framework reached earlier this month calls for inspections of Iran's nuclear facilities and limits the country's nuclear program. In exchange, economic sanctions against Iran would be lifted. The White House signaled that, the, that President Obama would sign the legislation in its current form. So I would hope that the White House would recognize this as congressional prerogative that we have, if anything, reinforced the president's ability to negotiate, and there will be no action taken by Congress on the substance of the agreements till we receive the agreements. You might remember that Iran dissed the idea of Congress's involvement weeks ago, and then today Iran's president said his government is not negotiating with Congress. The U.S., along with Britain, France, Germany, Russia, and China, are working to finalize a pact with Iran by the end of June. Protests continue nationwide. Demonstrators are angry over some new video that shows police brutality. Folks shut down streets from New York to the West Coast. lives matter. You know, we've come too far in this society to still be entrenched in this racism. Dashcam video shows a police cruiser in Arizona hit a suspect who fired a stolen rifle. That person survived. Another shows the shooting death of Walter Scott in South Carolina. And a third video shows an unarmed suspect out of Oklahoma. He was killed after a volunteer police officer mistakenly fired his gun. He says he thought it was a taser. That officer now charged with second degree manslaughter. Tim. Across the valley as we head into tomorrow, looks like there's still that chance for a shower, maybe a thunder shower tomorrow, maybe a little more active than today because there wasn't much around today. Chance of rain goes up even more on Friday. We'll check that forecast as we continue. I slipped and fell in my office building. I decided it was time to call Jeff Davis. His firm made sure that I got the settlement I so badly needed. So if you're injured, call me at 444-4444. That's 956-444-4444. If you love the latest technology, more Dolly Goss, and big savings, Murdoch to Mazda Mission and Edinburgh is a place to be. Plus, you get selection with more than 150 Mazdas with big savings, like a 35 Highway MPG 2016 Mazda CX-5 for as low as $288 per month, or get up to 40 Highway MPG in a 2015 Mazda 3, now just $208 per month. Get more choices and more savings. Shop Murdoch to Mazda Mission or Edinburgh today. Dolly Goss. When Martin Cooper invented the mobile phone... Hello, hey, this is Marty. Guess what we did? Connectivity took a mighty leap forward. Now Mazda uses advanced technology to keep you seamlessly connected to the world. Hey. Hi, headed home? On my way. And the road. This is the Mazda 3. What do you drive? Now, get the 2015 Mazda 3 for 0.9% APR for 60 months. anything? Yes. A puppy. Affordable home internet. Well, I can make that wish come true. Excuse me? With Time Warner Cable's everyday low price internet, you get the speed and reliability you need for surfing and emailing for $14.99 a month. Until it goes up. No, that's the price. And it's backed by their better guarantee. Well, that sounds perfect, actually. <laughs>
Call now to get everyday low price internet for $14.99 per month. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. The weather's heating up, and Bogus has deals that are even hotter. Real deals, no tricks, no gimmicks. Come out and see for yourself. We want you to put our real deals to the test. Right now, save a whopping $14,000 on a 2014 Ford F-150. Or lease a 2015 Ford Escape for only $189 a month. Real deals. It's better at Bogus. In Harlingen, in McAllen, and always at BogusFord.com. It's been a quiet day across the valley, probably quiet again tonight. Then tomorrow, chance of rain stays at about 30 percent. Late Friday into Friday night, I think the chance jumps to about 60 percent with a slight chance for a severe thunderstorm or some heavy rainfall. That lingers into early Saturday, still about a 20 percent chance on Sunday. And even next week, chance of showers lingers all week long. An update for you at 6 o'clock. Thank you so much for sticking with us today. Have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye. to you by Channel 5 and Clark Chevrolet McAllen. For knocking down high prices on all Toyotas, Bird on Toyota. Drive a 2015 Toyota Camry just $147 a month. Plus, get a two-year or 25,000 mile scheduled maintenance plan. Valley gas on in to Bird on Toyota in downtown Harlingen. Fresh, made from scratch, and irresistibly delicious. Olay Restaurant features mouth-watering food that's big on taste and small on price. Try one of the delectable specials today. Olay Restaurant, South Texas Boulevard, Westlaco. The E-Class has 11 intelligent driver assist systems. It recognizes pedestrians and alerts you. Warns you about incoming cross traffic. Cameras and radar detect dangers you don't and it can even stop by itself. So in this crash test, one thing's missing. A crash. The 2015 E-Class. See your authorized dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. Channel 5 News on KRGV. Number one in the Rio Grande Valley. You're watching us, expecting more. More depth, more investigations. News that affects you and your neighbors here in the valley. And we can't thank you enough for allowing us into your home every day. And thank you for making the valley the greatest place in the world. Channel 5 News on KRGV, number one in the Rio Grande Valley. You're watching KRGV, Channel 5 Westlaco. Tonight, the major security breach, the chaos, the pilot flying undetected, able to land on the Capitol lawn. Tourists stunned the immediate lockdown. This is not good, people. The bomb squad called in. How did that pilot get so close? The guilty verdict, the former NFL star, the $40 million contract, tonight convicted of murder. You'll see the tears in that courtroom. The police officer using his car to take down a suspect. Oh. Tonight, authorities standing by their officer as we reveal what happened in the moments before. The urgent warning, the rare strain of deadly dog flu now showing up in the U.S. More than a thousand cases and counting tonight. And the famous actor and the meltdown on lie. set. It left don't, so don't many this. stunned. Dennis. Don't, don't Dennis me. Tonight, this the real story. From ABC News World Headquarters, this is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and we begin tonight with that scare in Washington, D.C., and the major security questions tonight because of it. Tourists in the shadow of the Capitol, when suddenly they hear it, they look up, and they see it all. The pilot flying in right into restricted airspace, all part of an elaborate stunt in his small one-man helicopter. Tourists fearing terror, you can hear one of them saying, this is not good. The man landing on the west lawn of the Capitol, the bomb squad rushing in. And tonight, pictures of the arrest. They surround the alleged architect of the plan this evening in custody, a 61-year-old postal worker. And it turns out the Secret Service knew him and had talked to him before. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila leading us off. The gyrocopter flew over the reflecting pool. This is not good, people. 
past the statue of Ulysses no, S. Grant, dozens watching as it made a beeline for the capital. The small aircraft, weighing less than 500 pounds, holds only one pilot. Whistle out.